sorry for my absence. I'll explain at the end of the video, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get on with it just in case anyone's just here to watch the sketchbook. So this is the first page. I put a bunch of like pictures that I liked and I got them out of National Geographic and I just stuck them in here. And then there's some washi tape and a little Kuropi sticker because he's my favorite. And then this was my old room. I actually recently moved. Again, I'll get to that at the end of the video. Uh, just uh, enjoy, enjoy this for now. There's me. I'm actually really proud of like the perspective, kind of. This is one of my favorite drawings in here. And I kind of pushed my comfort zone a little bit by, you know, doing all like the detail in the background, kind of mecha vibes. It's kind of what I was going for. I think like mecha junkyard, you know? I think I achieved it. I think I got it. The only part I don't like about this is the water. This is the next page. Um, I did some human skull studies and then some dog skull studies and then a dog skeleton. And then I drew my dogs at the time, uh, Sissy and Odie. And they were just sleeping in. I'm so sorry. This drawing looks so scary. <laughs> like this one's fine. This one, terrifying. <laughs> my page farted. Oh my God, that's not my page. How did this, how did this get in there? How, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not gay. Uh, I found these like pictures, these like old vintage pictures, you know, some some fruity stuff. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw these because these are really cute. I really like this one. I like the way it turned out. I mean, I like both of them, but you know. So this is one of my favorite pages. I had this dream about this like meat train thing. And it was basically in my dream, I was with the guy. <laughs> okay, so he was an angel in my dream and he was like a totally different character, but he looked just like the guy, uh, Mr. Fish Odor from Bob's Burgers. That's all there is to say about that. Uh, but there was this big like floating thing and it, it was kind of scary, but it was also really calming at the same time. So I remembered it so vividly that I just decided to draw it. Then I did some hand studies. I believe that I got a lot of these from the website uh, lineofaction.com. It's like one of my favorite. They recently added features to where you can um, draw expressions and hands. It's basically a reference website and you can do speed drawing and, you know, sessions of like however long you choose, you know? It's really fun. You should check it out. Drew some people on Pinterest. I kind of butchered them, but like you can't tell. It's fine. I mean, you can kind of tell with that person, but you know, it's fine. And then I drew eyeballs, cause I'm just um, really basic. Oh, I almost gave myself a paper cut. Then I went to Cracker Barrel and no one was wearing a mask, but I really like this drawing of this lady. I think I did very good on her. And I like this drawing of this guy. He looked really like upset when he came in, but like not in like a sad way. He just kind of looked grumpy. Also, no one was wearing a mask. And then this page was kind of blank, so I just uh, filled it in with some line of action sketches. Oh, yeah, another thing. Some pages in this sketchbook aren't as finished as I would like them to be. You know how I like to have my sketchbook, but you know, it, it's okay. I had a rough few months, but this is my character Jinx. I was going to do a full body of him right here, but it didn't work out quite the way I wanted to. And Come to think of it, it's kind of dark over here. I'm gonna go turn on my light. Um, next page. This is my niece. Her name's Brandy, and I love her so much. She's got really scary eyes, though, but it's okay. You'll see her a lot in the sketchbook because she's just really easy to draw. I just really like drawing her. And I figure, hey, when she, like, gets older, I'll be like, oh, look at all these pictures I drew of you as a baby. I'm such an artiste. And she'll be like, wow, you're such an artiste. And I'll be like, I know. Anyway. So this is the first one I did of her. I don't like it as much as the others, but I still like it. This is a picture that I drew of her. Um, she stole a piece of pizza at her birthday party. It was her first birthday. And I just snapped this picture of it. It was really cute, so I drew it. And then this was a picture that I took of her on Snapchat and the lighting was really good. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like take advantage of this and make it look like she's uh, in a political campaign, so. Another character, she actually really liked this page, even though there's like nothing here. I just really am in love with this drawing. This is my character, Andy. Um, there's not really much else to say. If you wanna like see more of my characters and stuff, I post a lot of my character art to um, my Instagram at altermayart, so self-promotion. But anyway, this is Andy. 
This is her again. I wanted to draw her in some different clothes than usual. Here she is with Jinx, another one of my characters that you saw earlier. This, uh, this drawing in particular was really fun to do. Okay. And that's me! Oh my god! Um, I know you guys haven't seen my face on here, but, uh, if you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen my face, because I'm not really that, uh, secretive about it. But, um, I think I did, like, really good with this. I'm really proud of this drawing. Um, and then I did some figure study drawings of this guy, once again, from Line of Action, because that's, like, the best resource I have right now. Um, there's no life drawing classes near me, but, uh, if you have any websites that are like this website, like, you know, just a bunch of references and stuff, please, like, tell me, because I want to, like, find some more, just to, you know, broaden my, um, visual gallery, I guess. Uh, the next page has naked people on it, but it's, it's fully for, um, artistic reasoning, so please don't, um, take my video down, YouTube. Okay. So, here's me with my dog, her name's Sissy, and I got her new collar, and the, you know, we match now, because I got my spy collar, and she's got her studded collar, because she'd be too stupid with spikes, she'd kill herself. Anyway, and then I did this little flip thing, because I saw someone else doing it in their sketchbook, and I was like, oh, that's so cute, and I kind of want to implement more of those in my neighbor's sketchbook whenever I get it. And then you open this, uh, for some, uh, butts, for some really juicy butts. Here's some more drawings of my dog, and then naked drawings, and then I drew my little persona here. Anyway, um, I did some storyboards. This is another page that was unfinished, but, um, you know, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, I was going to do, uh, another board on this page just to kind of, you know, go with this one, but I never got around to doing it, so, you know. So I had to stay with my grandparents for a while, and I was just in their back bedroom, and I was like, let me just draw it. So I just drew their back bedroom, and then I put a bunch of drawings of Brandy over it later. Because what I'll do a lot of the times is I'll draw something on a page, and I'll be like, you know what? This doesn't have the kind of pizzazz that I want. You know, I'll save it for later, and then I'll come back and I'll draw something on top of it. I'm really proud of this. Um, this I drew this whenever I was living with my friend for a while. Um, and I drew it just like in colored pencils without any sketch or anything beforehand. And I'm just really proud of that cow. And then I like these cows too, uh, but I kind of wish I hadn't have colored this one. Cause like, I like him, but you know, he just doesn't fit the vibe. He doesn't fit the vibe of the rest of the page, but it's okay. So I also drew on some tracing paper that I've had for a while. I didn't trace these. I just really like drawing on tracing paper because I don't know. It just kind of feels like I really don't know, it's just kind of liberating to me, but I drew some cows, and then I drew my friend's uh, hedgehog, his name's Ravioli, and uh, he's really, he's, he's really cute, but he's kind of grumpy. I did this drawing to um, map out like the um, undertones of the face, because I saw this drawing online of someone doing the undertone to the face, and I was like, I want to do that, because I really need to memorize that, I think it'd be good for coloring, so... I drew him and I think he has very kind eyes. I love the way he looks. I want to give him a little kiss right here on the cheek. And uh, I really like drawing noses, so I gave him a nice big old nose. Um, and I thought, you know, he kind of looks like he would make me pizza. He kind of looks Italian, so he's just um, a happy little Italian man, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's a happy. I, I hope he's happy, but his eyes kind of hold some sadness in there. This was the page where I officially stated that I was living with Mia. Um, so I drew some of the squirrels and stuff and the birds uh outside her house because she lives in the woods like no no shit it's like a kind of like a tree house it's like on stilts and everything it's kind of cool and then i drew her tomato i drew a dog he's really ugly but i love him and he, he can't really see his name is pikachu because he's a pekingese i drew her cat and i'm kind of scared that people on tiktok would simp over her cat i don't know they're just weird like that and it just kind of feels like the vibe that they would get from him especially this drawing and then i drew a dog curly uh and also look at all these four leaf clovers that she found isn't that crazy she found that in like two days oh uh pay your respects by the way so then we have white people talk a night i stayed with them for a long while i'm really grateful um to have such a good friend and to have my friend's family be so like such good people but um that's that for now but we had white people taco night and it was really good here's my tacos here's uh my friend's veggie plate i drew my friend and she has like a 
uh, a loft area like you go upstairs and the lofts exposed and you can like look down so I drew her looking up at me and she looks kind of scary because the lighting was like really dramatic but you know what it's okay and then I drew her dad uh, but his face didn't quite come out right so I just covered it with a Polaroid next page we went on a trip to Georgia to see some of Mia's family and I drew what I like my perspective from the car and I really love this page I just really like how I like colored this in red but like left the car blue I don't know it's kind of cool looking to me and I drew Mia I'm re I really love this drawing too I just I really like this page in particular it's one of my favorite pages in the book and then we went to um, Outback I had Outback for the first time did not like it <laughs> yeah I didn't like it that much uh, my cheeseburger was dry, but um, I drew my friend's dad's leg. I drew some people walking, like her family members, people in Outback. And, you know, I just, uh, this is just a life drawing page, pretty much. And then uh, her uncle had some goats, and so I drew his goats. This one's Tippy, this one's Carlos. Uh, that's Carlos again, that's Lacey. And then the other one's name... Oh god, I don't remember the other one's name. I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, I left this page blank, this the space right here blank, and I came back to it um, a long while later. So this particular area was when I was at my brother's house. Um, this is his girlfriend. I haven't showed her this yet. I, I kind of want to, but I feel like it'd be creepy. Um, and this is their dog. I think I did a really good job on that too. This is Brandy again, but I gave her more hair because... She, well, she doesn't have a lot. She's got kind of a big head, not enough hair. And that's my dad, but I gave him a really scary face because he kept moving his face and I couldn't get it right. So I was like, you know, I might as well just um, do that. Okay, and this is when I graduated from high school. I drew this a few days after I graduated. Um, this is a picture of me on graduation. I kind of drew my face a little chubbier than it is in real life, but it's... It's okay, it's okay. And then I drew myself really ugly. Did a little passage about how my graduation went. Um, my friend Dustin bought me an apple juice. And then that's Dustin, by the way. He's the only good one in this drawing because I messed up on myself after I drew him and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw the rest of these bitches ugly because if I'm ugly, they gotta be ugly too. And Dustin's cut out, so it doesn't matter if he looks good there. It's fine. And this is the drawing my sister did of me and I colored it. I don't know why she drew me like that. I'm not that snatched. Oh, I love this page. So this is um, based off a of Polaroid that uh, I took whenever Mia was grabbing my face in anger. Did a really good job on this one. It's one of my favorite drawings. And I put feet above us because we stanky. And this drawing is my brother-in-law uh, with his spiked hair. I had just done Liberty Spikes on him and my niece again. Uh, somehow I managed to draw her head too big, which is honestly a feat because that baby has a big head. And then I drew her in a little uh, dress. And that's Mia's horse. This is one of the last drawings that I did at her house. And then I left her house and I painted over this page red and I did some studies from the beach because I moved to Panama City. Um, I liked that study. That old lady was just chilling. There's Brandy again in her little strawberry bathing suit. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about this page. Just figure studies. That's a clown I drew. I really like the design of the clown. I might draw it again later because I just really like the idea of the stripes. It reminds me of that uh, children's book about the girl with the stripes. Yeah. I drew some palm trees and then I did some studies of my own hand. Well, no, these weren't of my own hand. That's not on that page. This is a uh, line of action hands. I drew an ashtray. I drew Brandy eating um, chorizo and eggs. She, I, I made her look really uh, dopey right there, but it's okay. I really wanted to get how messy she was because man, she was making a mess, but she was feeding the dogs too. So I drew that. I drew some Coke tabs and stuff. Okay, this is kind of when I started to lose steam in the sketchbook, but this is the page with my hands. So uh, there was this water bottle on the page and I was like, well, let me just draw like water bottles. So that's my hand, that's my hand. And these are just water bottles from the page. Uh, more naked people. So here's your warning. Just figure studies from um, lineofaction.com.
I really hope this video doesn't get taken down. Warlineofaction.com. It's like for real my favorite website. Um, this is the expression practice that I did on there. I didn't really focus on like their actual like face shapes too much. So I had a little bit of fun with them, especially this one. Um, I mostly just focused on getting the expression and I think I got it pretty good. And then I drew like um, the stuff that was around me on the table because this kind of seemed negative. Like had a lot of negative space. I mean, I don't know why I said it like that. So I drew my sticky pad, I drew pins, I drew my fat Sharpie, tape dispenser, all that jazz. This is a comic slash storyboard question mark about um, how much I hate drawing buildings. In case you haven't noticed, I haven't drawn any buildings and I don't think any of my sketchbook tours. I really need to get on it, I know, but I just, I just hate it, I hate it so much. Oh, you can pause that to read it if you want. Oh, also I got a mohawk. A random lady that I drew, my brother-in-law's hand. Um, here's some balloon animals because I found a popcorn that looked just like a balloon dog and it like looks so much like a balloon dog. I was like, whoa, brother-in-law, look at this popcorn that looks just like a balloon dog. And he's like, wow, that's crazy. I gotta take a picture of that. So he took a picture of that and I was like, dude, send that to me. That's the sickest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And he was like, I got you. I'll send it to you. And so he sent it to me and I was like, oh, I gotta draw this now. So I drew it. I'm gonna draw my dog Sissy because I love drawing her because she's so stupid looking and I love her so much. And then I drew the table. <laughs> more figure studies, more hand studies. I've, I've been working a lot on those. I think I'm really making progress. You can see this one was one minute, one minute, 30 seconds, two minutes, three minutes, etc., etc., three minutes. Um, and then the hands, same, same there. I don't like my like birth name, so I'm covering this up. Anyway, this is a good uh, drawing my sister made for uh, me. The really speaks to the soul i would say it's really um deep and it takes you a minute to like really get the vibe of like the emotions in this piece but you know anyway um so this is my drawing of uh humanized princess carolyn because i love bojack horseman it's my favorite tv show or my favorite cartoon at the very least uh here's just some doodles i did because again i was losing steam and then that's the last page. And then I just did a doodle of myself here. I finished it on July 10th, 2021. And I don't remember when I started this book. God, I need to start writing them down. But it was in 2021, I know that. Anyway. So thank you so much for watching my tour. Um, Now here's the life update. So here's the reason why I've been gone for so long. Long story short, also sorry my room looks bad, I haven't really unpacked it yet. Long story short, my family made uh, plans to move to Florida and my mother was gonna go along, but my mother's kind of a bad person. Um, she's never really been good to me or my sisters. And so we had a big falling out. Um, she kicked me out and I lived with my friend for a few months. My friend didn't have Wi-Fi, so I couldn't really post much. She had like a hotspot, but I, I, was, I didn't want to use too much of it up because it was the only Wi-Fi I had really. Um, but now after those few months are over, I'm here in Florida with my brother-in-law and sister as originally planned. So it kind of worked out for me in the, in the long run. So things are actually better now than they were. So like, don't, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm so sorry for you, are you okay? Like, I appreciate it, but I, I, am, I am fine. I'm actually better than ever. So that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you so much for the like continuous support that this channel has gotten. I didn't expect it to get so much support, but you know, it's gotten a lot of traction and I really appreciate it. It really makes me feel good about myself. You're inflating my ego in for that. I thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna let you go though. I, I have to go. There's a screaming baby that I need to take care of. So uh, bye for now. I hope you tune into my next sketchbook tour.